The message from Mayor John Tory throughout the COVID crisis to landlords has been to ease up a little bit and offer some sort of relief to tenants. However, there is a question being raised now about how the city is as a property owner and whether or not it's practicing what it preaches. For years, treasure hunters have flocked to the St. Lawrence market on Sundays for items from days gone by. The antique market is a unique event held once a week that's no longer allowed to take place due to restrictions set in place by the city. Yet, the city itself still wants money for renting the venue it owns to the south of the main building. It's a very unusual, bizarre situation that I'm in. Doesn't show at all that the city has any intention to be fair or equitable about my business as being my landlord. They're trying to charge me rent for a venue prior to the venue, but I can't open because of Mayor, Mayor Tory's announcement that events can't open till the end of June. Marlene Cook has operated the antique event for years and says her situation is different from other market tenants because those businesses are permanent. The antique vendors, on the other hand, don't keep anything in the building. She normally pays an average of $18,000 to the city every month while operating. The city did give notice to other tenants, farmers and vendors last week, informing them of a 12-month deferral for payments due in March, April and May. Why would the city require the antique market to pay for space it's not allowed to use? In actual fact, uh, they have been offered a deferral of the rent for a period of three months. That's my understanding. Uh, and in actual fact as well, discussions are ongoing with them if there's a better uh, solution that we can find because uh, I think that's entirely consistent with what I've been suggesting other uh, landlords should do. The St. Lawrence Market website has even acknowledged the Sunday Antique Market is temporarily closed until further notice. And yet, the expectation, the empty space is paid for. If you had a wedding, you're booking a wedding in the hall and COVID-19 came up, uh, would the city charge you and say, you can't use the hall, but we want you to pay in full for the wedding? And now it's a fight to keep from becoming history, much like the antiques otherwise found on Sundays at the market. In the letter that was issued by the city to the uh, those vendors, it did in fact say that there are unique circumstances and it is open to one-on-one -on -one discussions and conversations. However, the antique market has yet to hear anything back from a letter that they have written.